Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Daisy. So recently I did a little bit of a refresh in my entryway coat closet. I had incorporated some organizational systems quite some time ago and they were working for me quite well. But over time I sort of found that there were things that were lacking in there. Um, things were ending up on the floor, there wasn't quite a home for every single thing that I needed to be stored in this closet. So the very first thing that I did was remove everything from this closet. Every single item needed to come out because I needed to start with a blank canvas. So before I made any changes in here, I wanted to clean it because it really, really need a cleaning. I swept, I even took a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to the walls, y'all. Like that's how serious it got. It really needed it. I have really enjoyed the shoe cabinet. It has gotten so much use. It is worth every single penny that I spent on it. I got it at Ikea. of the main things to keep in mind when you are tackling any space in your home is to make sure that whatever it is that you're incorporating any organizational system any functionality is going to be molded specifically to your family or your lifestyle now with that said I really love to keep my children's sports equipment in this closet because these are the kinds of things that they like to take outside to play with and having it by the front door is very easily accessible for my children and finding a specific place for them to go makes it a lot more easier for my children to put things back where they're supposed to be it works i'm telling you it works i was using these collapsible bins that i purchased at walmart but the thing is they were way too flimsy they were not sturdy enough to hold the things that i needed them to hold things that i would access on a daily basis so I took to Home Goods and I purchased these black baskets for $19.99 for a set of two, which I thought was a really great price. I really liked the color, the handles were really lovely, so I picked them up and in this closet I am only using two out of the four. In this very first basket, I decided to store my Dyson vacuum and all of its accessories to include the carpet powder that I do use. I am using these Dollar Tree bins that I purchased for $1 each to corral all like items. In the second basket, I am using this clear bin that is originally intended for refrigerator and freezer organization. I made this purchase when I organized my refrigerator, but this one didn't quite make it in the refrigerator and I decided to keep it and repurpose it. And I'm just also keeping a few other things in here that need to stay corralled together. And yes, that is another Dyson. Um, I actually purchased this second hand. This is my very first Dyson. And I have since bought another, so this one made its way into this bin for any quick vacuuming that needs to be done in my car. Now just to show you that I was keeping a couple of other things in here that didn't need to be in here. One of them being my Nintendo system and a few other pieces that go along with other game systems and I know it's a party foul I, I hear ya um, but I'll have you know that it has since made its way to the TV console where I will be doing another organizational video because that thing also needs a little bit of attention that's gone out of whack so before this closet was it was messy things didn't have a home things were ended up on the floor and here is the after. I absolutely love the way that things turned out. So let's talk about these hangers for a little bit. I purchased them at a little consignment store for a few dollars for just a pack of four. My oldest son gets a coat, my youngest son gets a coat, and then I get the other two coats. One of them is used for my military uniform top because I am active duty army. And then the other one is used for a jacket, just a regular jacket. And I still, we still get a kick out of these little hangers. I didn't do too many changes in here, y'all, but I added a lot more function to this closet it, that it really, really needed. 
and now I have a place for my keys, I have a place for my glasses, I even had enough surface space to add a picture frame of my children and I. And I'm using this cute antique little mail organizer that I purchased at a thrift store a long time ago to corral all of the lovely gifts that I've got for my children. So at the very last minute, I decided to incorporate a few more things into my entryway. I already have this really beautiful antique mirror that I thrifted. And now what I have done was add a little bit of home decor and I even added some additional storage, a bench for my children to use, to put on their shoes in the morning and to remove them when they get home. This is by no means a glamorous before and after, but I love the character that has been introduced into my entryway. Mom, what's in here? That's the chapstick. Okay. Yeah. It's chapstick. It is the chapstick. Okay, what's inside the cabinet? Um, is hats? Yep. Hats are funny. Yep. Yours and brothers, right? Yeah. And what's in that top one? Um, it's gloves. That's right, the gloves. What's in the bottom one? Piper? That's right, they're for Piper. <laughs> Say hi, Piper! If y'all enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you can get notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!